Meow. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> hey everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, we uh, went garage selling today. We've got some footage to show you on that, but we uh, are kind of rained, rain. What do you call it? I have no idea what you're trying to say. Spit it out, Donna. We melted. I melted. Uh, oh, you're just talking about she's been out all day. She's like, I look like crap. And I'm like, you look great. It's all good. Um, as you see in the thumbnail, our video today, we're going to tell you a little story about how I almost burned Burn. our eBay store down. And I'm not actually clickbaiting. It's kind of true. down the house. Um, and I take full responsibility. We're not going to wait till later. We're going to tell you that story right away. Yes. And then we're going to show you haul from today's garage sales. Mm -hmm. We want to show you this now because it's Friday night, like at 9, 8, 9 p.m. And 9 we're, going, we're going garage selling again tomorrow. Yay! So if we want to show you this stuff, then we, we need to show it to you now because otherwise it's going to get mixed into yes. all this stuff. So let's get started. We're going to tell a story, show you what's sold, and we're going to talk about like uh, all the different types of videos we make and like where our thinking is with that. Yeah. But let's get going. <laughs> all right. So not so funny story. Yeah, let's talk about this. And not maybe so it's funny. not as dramatic as I'm making it, but I mean, you know, obviously it, it could be. It could have been really bad. Okay, so. So, husbands, sometimes it's okay to listen to your wife. Oh, yeah, absolutely, sometimes. <laughs> One out of every four times. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should not listen to her. The other three you should. Is that better? I don't know. For All right. Sure. Um, I think this is a trick. A couple days ago, I started shipping, and... I went and I was just, it was, we didn't film or anything because we have some garage sale footage that we did. And so I was just doing my thing and I went down to get this lion. This lion sold. It is so cute. It's a cute. kid's costume. It's so cute. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> so, we He's sold cute. him for $18.5 ish. Yeah. And so I went to grab him. A little lion tail. Yeah. And I'll, let's, let's show where, let's show where, let's show where the lion was. Okay. All right. Let's go take a field trip. I'll let you and go. And show where the line was. I'll show here. All right, if you come back into our, I don't know what we call this. We called this the clothing room, but we don't really do any clothing in here. Um, in this closet, we have shoes. Mm. And then in top of the shoes, there's a bag, an Ikea bag. And that bag right there has the different costumes in it that we have listed. And you can see right there, the lion was on top. Anyway, Donna put that bag up there oh no i a while didn't. ago and she told me you put that bag up there Did I put that bag? yes my because, memory's bad no because i said to him hey let's make sure that we don't turn this light on because it's too close to this bag yeah she told me and i remember specifically telling me don't turn that light on because it's too close to the bag well apparently at some point what happens when a hot light bulb touches fabric it's an old light bulb. It's probably been there since they built it because you never turn it on because it's just in a closet, it's especially that we don't use. Ones. And so apparently, little Mr. Lion was too close to the light bulb. You guys, he's he got a burn. Almost burned the house down, but he's fire resistant, fire retardant because yeah. he is a child's outfit. Yeah. So. I don't see where it says that, but anyway, he well, he's obviously fire retardant or whatever it's yeah. called, resistant, because I found that, and I don't know when that happened. I don't know. It wasn't touching it when I found that, so I don't know when it happened. But it could have been while we were in bed. It could have been while we were here. It could have been while... now if we were upstairs on the top floor, and a fire started down here. Man, it would take a little while before we eBay would have gone up in smoke. eBay would have been gone up in smoke, but the worst part about that is above the whole eBay area is the rest of our house too. So we literally could have lost everything. And I mean it's maybe I'm overstating it. Maybe it really wouldn't have happened, but I don't see why not. Them light bulbs get hot. And somebody said uh it, one of the friends said uh you should have LED lights in there. Well, like I said, it's a closet light. You never think about it. But mm -hmm. so anyway, probably gonna switch the light out for an LED light. I do have some upstairs. Yes. And so fortunately, we did not burn the house down. And I'm but gonna I turn feel this it was into a, a puppy dog outfit. 
There you go. <laughs> but we feel like it was a close enough call to tell the story, and you can all be like, wow, I'm so glad you guys didn't burn your house down, because so are we. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's go take a look at the stuff we sold, <laughs> or we picked up at garage sales. Okay. Now, all this stuff is really a mess because we just brought it in from the van and we had our friends over here and we actually That's showed them the stuff. Over here. And so it's just kind of everywhere. So it's not organized. We don't have any of it planned. We're just going to do it. So here First, you go, Donna. My squish. Yeah, she made a case for having a squish. I've never had a squish and now I do. Oh. She said it's coffee. It looks like coffee to me. She's going to fight me. But they said it was a s'mores. S'mores. Okay, we got some things for the booth. Yeah, we'll go through, we'll show you stuff, we'll tell you where it's gonna go, we think. Booth. Booth. Okay, I got this lovely elephant for $3. I think he's just cute as can be. Um, probably the booth. I got, I think there's 12 or 13 of these Tupperware trays. Yeah. Uh, for ten dollars. I think we sold. I think we sold some of them before. Haven't we? Yes, we have. You got. I picked up this tackle box, and we fishing stuff does well. It's very dirty, but it's got a bunch of lures, and I've sold lures on eBay before. So They're we have in to here go backwards. through and look them all up and everything. Well, they're on both sides, dude. They're on both sides. Yeah, there's a bunch in there, and then the wow. bottom. These drawers. There's a bunch of stuff in these drawers. Okay. And so I asked them what they wanted for it, and they said 12 bucks for the whole thing. I expected it to be at least 20 So for 12 bucks, I said, I'll take it. Okay. So that's a good find, I think. Yep. I found a Fontanini set, a uh, Nativity. Fontanini. Yep. What'd you pay for that? Dollar. Dollar a piece, right? Oh, dollar piece, yeah. So three bucks there. Say made in Italy. Uh, this is a dollar head cover. They'll sell for like 10, 12 bucks online. Got something here for the kids' a stocking. Can't show you that because kids might watch. Look at this. We haven't found one of these in quite a while. TI 84 plus. Four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. They don't sell as fast as they used to, but they still sell good. Okay, got this whole stack of old, original, uh, little golden books. Some of these I remember from when I was little. But they're not the reprinted ones, they are the old ones. So I got all of those for 25 cents a piece. Very good. Got this for a dollar. It is a set of body stuff for the dollar option. Yep. Um, you got this. Uh, it's one dollar for three yo-yos. I know yo-yos can do well. When it's a dollar, I don't bother looking them up. So I'll check them out. They might go on dollar auction, might go on eBay. A Teletubbies um, spoon and fork set. Cool. Snoopy candle holder. Vintage. Cool. And we're not really popping comps up because, like I said, we just got this stuff today. And we got a lot going on tomorrow. We bought a new ring light that has a plastic diffuser around it. I'll put a picture up of what it looks like. Yeah. Sorry. I paid $25 for that, but that's actually for personal use for when we're filming in the office. My lighting is so bad, but I think with that cover on it, I think it's going to be much better better overall lighting so that's what that was for all right we got another husker shirt we got a naruto shirt we got a i don't this know this is a 19 2013 concert t-shirt from uh marilyn manson and alice cooper so that's a that's a 11 year old concert tee right there donna found for a dollar for a dollar john deere another huskers oh this camera found this camera it's a Canon PowerShot Elf 160, and they wanted $10. I didn't even try to get it for less because this sells for like $130 to $150. Obviously, I have to test it and see if it works, but even if it doesn't work, I'll still make money on it. So We got four of these. <laughs> Go Huskers! Go Big Red. <laughs> okay. Um, that's just more of those glasses. Got some vintage fabric, Roy Rogers and Trigger. Some more some quilting. We've got this for the booth. He's a puppy. He's a puppy. He's a puppy. This tapestry. Very cool tree. 
you're upside down. Yeah, but it's really cool. It almost looks like a tree from... Uh, hold it up once. Hold it up once. Hold it steady. It almost looks like there's a face on it. Is there a face? Is that sunglasses in the middle? Mm. No, I don't think there is. Very cool tree, though. Um, don't know what we would do with that. but that's, Tapestry is for the wall. That's her. her Shirley expertise. Temple paper dolls. Oh, wow. Vintage book. That's got to be old. Yep, for $3. A hanky. In case I get a runny nose. No. Um, this is a... What do you got? Oh, this is a router. Somebody was giving it away for free. They had it out. Said it works. A free router, so I can't pass that up. Got three of these. Three of what? Um, they are paint by number kits. They're brand new, not opened. Paid a dollar each, right? So, yep. Um, set of paint. Cool, brand new. For a dollar. Got this baby for three to plant her. Cool. Um, you got this for a dollar. Brand new sealed. Can't go wrong with a brand new sealed puzzle. If not for eBay, for the dollar auction. No! This is my last word. No! If you turn it over, it says no. But it says on. There you go. No. No! <laughs> I get to keep that. No. Uh, Sony Bluetooth speaker. A big one. And... It's only two dollars and i'm like well does it work and she said well yeah it works they just we don't have the power cord but so it's only two dollars i'm like uh sold i'll take it popple anytime you see a popple you guys it's one of these little toys that actually goes and folds inside itself like this and it's from the 80s and it's you looked that 25 up 25 to 30 dollars nice Got it for two. Steve got a little Tommy Tippy Sippy cup. Yeah, it was just a dollar, so take a chance on that. I got a 25 cent Turbis. Yeah. All right, moving over here. Uh, Ray Dunn Sugar and Creamer. Cool. I don't remember what we paid for that. Two dollars, it says. We have sold these little corn husk dolls before. Um, We've sold a bunch of those. Yeah. And, and this so, is the tag on it says it's 1980. Let's look at the tag here. Where's the tag? It's, it's underneath. All right, there's the tag. It says 1989. You probably can't read that, but 1980 ride Nans, N A N S. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we've done very well with those corn husk dolls before. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I did good or bad on this, but I got two books full of. These this are, is one of our big buys. These are hankies. And this whole book was $25. But there's more than 25 hankies in here. And they're vintage. Uh, to me, I think they're very interesting. Um, so anyone who knows about hankies, they're just, I just think they're really cool to look at. So I'm going to be doing some research on hankies. And that's book number one. Mm -hmm. And then... That wasn't all of it. I, I went through it yeah. really fast. And here's a part of book number two. They still have the stickers on them. Yeah, Donna came and asked me. She's like, it's $25 a book. What do you think? And I'm like, I don't care. I said, well, if I get a runny nose, I'll be good. And the lady selling it did not think that was a funny joke. <laughs> she looked at me like, you're not really going to do that, are you? But I mean, in in worst case scenario, I mean, I could. I suppose you couldn't in an emergency. Just, but. just saying. Yeah. So anyway, there's there's way more than 25 in each book, so. I'm going to do some research. I can sell them on uh, dollar auction. I have people that buy them on dollar auction. So over here, this cat actually came from a storage unit, I think, or clean yes. out once. But underneath it, we have this radio. This is a 1940s Zenith radio, and it doesn't work. But they had it like at the end of the driveway for three bucks. And I thought, you know what? Somebody will like that. And somebody on the dollar auction, I think, will like that. And I think we'll do okay with it. But for three bucks, it was worth the chance to try to find it a new home. So, very cool. It's like from 1940. And then we also have this pair of New Balance. They're like in brand new condition. 608s. These have an excellent sell-through rate. They wanted $10 for it. So we gave $10 and they sell for, I think, $30 to $50. I think $30 to $40. And then here is a Vera Bradley 
beautiful purple purse. Uh, a little bit of stain on it, but not bad. It's in really nice, and I think that was just a couple bucks. That was our friends brought these over. They found these at uh, garage sale today, so they grabbed them for us. Okay, over here we have... OGO. It's an OGO bag. It's a super nice big bag. I don't know if it was a good deal. It's five bucks. It's a little dingy now that I look at it, but it's a big bag. And I don't know what Rico Arbor Racing. I don't know what that is, but you know, I just thought it's a nice bag. I don't know. Probably wasn't a great buy, but who knows. I got a Disney um, vintage mini. Yep. We got a $2 pair of Lululemons. Lululemons. They are size 4 ladies, but that's okay. Yeah, $2. Never going to pass that up for 2 bucks. I don't know about this. This is a microphone. 75 cents is all she wanted for it. I might actually hold on to it in case we maybe get a stand sometime for when we go live or something like that or on a podcast or something like that. That might be personal use. Smart Egg Labyrinth Puzzle. I did look this up sells for like 10 to 15 dollars it was two bucks i saw it was super cool it's been used so i may actually mess with it too but i don't know just that was kind of more of a fun pickup i don't know how to say this nino bonnie nino bonnie sounds good um it's leather purse i got for five dollars and i liked it for myself but we'll see sell through rate may end up selling that it's a really nice purse That's cool though and then this little kid's purse. That is a koala? Is that what that is? Sloth. Sloth. It's a sloth. Super, super soft. It's a sloth with wings. No, they're handles. It's a purse. A sloth with wings. Okay. Okay, we just want to take a minute here. We do have some more solds, or not solds, some more things yeah. we picked up, including a $100 lot that we still have to show you. Yes. But we first wanted to talk a little bit about, to kind of give you our thoughts, our opinion on our channel on what we do for content and everything else and maybe get some feedback if you want to leave any comments so this morning when we left like i went to go grab the camera and then i asked donna i'm like you care if i don't film today and she's like of course not i don't care if you want to or don't want to whatever and we talked about it and i think did we talk about it yes okay <laughs> or is this just in my head maybe no we talked about it and sometimes you just don't feel like filming well i don't think some channels do all picking videos yeah. some channels do just what sold videos some people some people just do haul videos and so we've always done like some a variety just do storage unit videos yeah yeah <laughs> we've always done just a variety of whatever we have going on and so since we just did the bella vista videos and we have two more to make yet i thought you know what let's just if we find some cool things we'll show it in a haul yep. but let's not film because we want to just if we do too many of one video in a row, we think we could lose some of the people that watch our channel, you know? So we're just going to keep it variety. So if you want to see us have a thing. favorite type yeah. of video, you know, leave it in the comments. Tell us what you like. And, you know, we do, we know people like storage units. Our best, most viewed videos are mainly storage unit and videos. And you guys, he tried to get one. We were looking real serious at one yesterday, but it didn't work out. So. I did. So, yeah, we, we like doing the storage units, but in the height of garage sale season really kicking in, it's hard to... Yeah justify it too so but anyway just let we just want to let you know like so that's why we didn't film today we're just gonna kind of keep the variety going and we do enjoy filming but you know i don't i don't want to just do picking videos every Next time, time either. i promise to do a little more with myself you are beautiful don't you worry about that <laughs> anyway yeah it's like 9 30 at night so yes. this is what it is um okay we have a few more things yes. that we picked up first of all what are what are these and why do we have them because we have a squirrel that eats our chair covers. So we found two chair covers at an estate sale for $5 a piece. And if you guys know, Lowe's has them for $49 a piece. These are not quite as squishy as Lowe's, but they'll do the job. So we got those. Yeah. We basically just bought new nesting material for our squirrels. Every year. Yeah. Every year we get new nesting material for the squirrels. All right, Donna, what do you got? I got a Cabbage Patch Girl and Horse. I have never seen a Cabbage Patch Horse before. And this horse is a little bit special because her hair is different. And the lady showed me that you can crimp her hair and stuff like that. It's, I think, a more of a wire consistency inside of... Um, 
yarn wrapped. Let's see how it stays. She said, so you can just crimp her whole mane and you can do the same thing with the baby. So we're gonna clean those up a little bit and I had, didn't even look them up. I just yeah, we thought- we haven't looked hardly anything up. We just went by gut today. Yep. Couple more things that are just easy sellers, you know, dollar auction. Went to one of the first sales, had a food saver with some bags and everything, two bucks. Come on, these sell pretty good, so I grabbed that. All right, last thing we got, I was at a stay sale. We were in a stay sale. We went together. And he, he had a whole bunch of pipes and Donna worked with them and Donna got the deal and then came and asked me if I wanted it. So for $100, <laughs> I got all of the above. I got this pipe stand, this pipe stand, this one has a cool pipe on it, and then it's a humidor or something, but it's old. I don't know exactly how it works or what all is in there, but cool pipe stand. There's another pipe stand, and those are, you know, those are obviously vintage. And then this has tobacco in it, so I could go ahead and oh have God. me some tobacco. Do so it again. Do it again. Oh my goodness. Um... Like I said, we didn't look any of this up. It don't oh, smell bad. It doesn't yeah. smell. It smells it's, pretty I think fresh. this is an actual like humidor or something too. I That's don't what know. He called I it. don't know for sure. But then it had 20 pipes. Got this bag and here's the pipes. This is a bag with bowls in it, a few bowls. Um, but then there's 20, 20 pipes in here and there is some really unique looking pipes. Okay, we laid them all out here for you to see, but there's 20 pipes here and there's a lot of really unique ones. I mean, these, I think this is actual corn cob, I think. I don't know. You know, some wood carved ones here and they all, there's a lot of different names, a lot of different brands of pipes. Um, this is says Supreme and I think it says Fisher. Yeah, it says Fisher on the side. It's got the pipe cleaner in it. This is, look at this cool one. Pretty cool there. I mean, I don't know nothing about, this is a Shenandoah. I don't know much about pipes, but I think if you take out the pipe stands and all that, we paid $5 a pipe just for the pipes with nothing else. And I really think we can do all right with this. So let us know if you know anything about pipes, let us know what you think, how you think we did. Kind of a cool, uh, cool collection. Look at this one. This says Viking and it's got this metal metal pipe on it kind of cool so i don't know just uh highland that one says so either we're gonna sell them and do okay or i'm gonna take up smoking pipe please buy our pipes <laughs> but yeah cool so we paid a hundred dollars for all that and all the other things that we showed you already so that's our haul that's our haul from today we we had a really good time had a lot of fun um, and now we're going to go tomorrow morning. Yes. There is a small town a Are little ways from here. Are we going to take the camera tomorrow? I don't know. We'll see how we feel in the morning, maybe. Okay. Maybe we'll take the camera. And if we don't take the camera, if we do find some good things, we'll definitely, you know, throw in a video because it is fun to see the stuff we pick up then later. Yes. But anyway. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you think our best buy was. Let us know what kind of video you like. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching our videos because we really do appreciate it. We do. Like yes. and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. Sounds good. Bye, everybody. Bye.